Hi friends, welcome back. So today I'm bringing you guys another video and this is actually going to be my June favorites video and I can't believe that I just said my June favorites video. I know everybody says the same thing but it's real. It's real life. It's real. It's not a joke. I was always watching YouTubers like okay yeah I get it. I get it. I get it. But it's real. It's real life. I don't get it. I don't. This month I actually have a lot to talk about because I did a lot of shopping, got to try a lot of stuff in June, so there's a lot of stuff to talk about. And I also have some things that I didn't like so much, which I don't usually include in these videos, not for any particular reason, just because I never really have anything to talk about. But I actually have some things to talk about this month, so without any further ado, let's just get this started because it's going to be a long video. I'm basically going to go in the order that I would apply the things to my face just because there is so much stuff that if I don't go in some type of order, we're going to be all over the place. So the first thing I want to talk about is weird because I really never used to like this product. When I first got this product, I was just like, why is everybody hyping this up? This is so dumb. I hate this. But this is the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer and this is in the smoothing version. I got this a long time ago because I think Nicole Guerrero first mentioned it and like brought it into my attention brought it into my attention and brought it to my attention and I was like okay let me go try it and see what it's like because she says that this was the best smoothing primer that she had used better than the Smashbox one better than the Benefit one so I was like alright I'm gonna have to go pick that up so I picked it up and I honestly really hated it in the beginning I feel like it didn't make any type of difference in my pore sizes for some reason now it's working I don't know <laughs> I don't know if it's just like my brain or something but I continued to use it after you know I initially didn't like it and I really like it now. I feel like it actually does work almost as, almost better than all of my other primers. There's only one primer that beats this one and that is the Tarte Clean Slate Timeless Primer. I recommend that primer to everybody who has, everybody, everybody who has a face. Okay. If you have a face, that's the one you need to pick up. That is my all-time favorite primer in the universe. But this one is definitely my second favorite. I really, really like it. And I do think that it does work to kind of smooth out your pores or fill them in or anything like that. So this is the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin 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 Equalizing Primer in the smoothing version. So now moving on to foundations and concealers. I have one of each that I have really been loving for this month. And I am cheating a little bit in this video because there are some things that you're gonna see and you're gonna be like, wait, I just saw you post a video on this like two days ago. There is no way you've been loving it for this month. But I actually do pre-film my videos kind of like a lot ahead of time. So when you guys see some of the videos you're going to see, like you're going to see my Macy's haul, it's actually like you're going to see it like two weeks after I actually hauled it. So in real life, I've been loving it for a little bit. The Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation. I love this foundation. This is probably like my, this is literally my current favorite foundation. I cannot put this down. I love it so much. This is what I'm wearing on my face today and I feel like this is not really talked about and it should be. I love it so much. I saw Jaclyn Hill in one of her super, super old videos and I mean, I'm kind of obsessed with Jaclyn Hill if you guys don't know that already. I will re-watch one of her videos like seven times and still feel like I'm brand new watching it and like I just enjoy her that much. So I was looking at one of her old videos and she was saying that she was wearing this and it would probably be better for somebody with oily skin because she has dry skin. And I was like, I, I have oily skin. I I'm going to... Mine. So I went and I picked this up and mine is in the color 3.4. And it, it looks kind of dark when you first apply it or when I first apply this color to my face. But in real life, it does match if you can... I don't know if you can tell, but it matches perfectly. And I just love this so much. It really is a very long wearing foundation. None of my oils seep through at all throughout the day. And I mean, I've been testing this out for a little while and it's amazing. I think it does give you a matte finish. Even when I put it on my hands at the Macy's Gondola, it was a matte finish. And I just love it. It's matte, but it's not a flat matte. It's, it's, it's got some there. It's something. It's good. Even though it says hydrating, I don't think it's hydrating at all, to be honest with you. But that's okay because it works for me. So again, this is the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation. Mine is in the color 3.4 just for reference. I'm an NC44 in MAC. Now for the concealer that I've been loving this month. If you have been keeping up with my videos, if you just watch them, like let's just say you haven't been watching my videos this month and you watch this one and you're like, let me see if she's really been loving that. And then you go to see all of my videos this month, you're gonna be like, nah, she was real. She, she was really loving that because I use this concealer in every single video that I recorded this month. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind and mine is in the color 
lights. I have had this forever and when I first got it, I got it in some other shade. I don't remember what the shade was, but it was just wrong. It was so wrong on my face, it looked crazy. So I went back and picked it up in the color light because I personally usually get my concealers in the colors light or light medium or something like that because I really like a very strong highlight if you guys cannot tell. The light works perfectly for me. Like I said, it is what I'm wearing right now and I just love everything about this concealer. This is like such a good coverage concealer. It's not expensive at all. It's from the drugstore. And I mean, I don't really, I don't know how I feel about this little spongy thing. I mean, I think it feels cool when it's going on, but I don't know. I am like halfway through with this. I don't know if you guys can see that. And I'm just, I'm going to pick up another one as soon as humanly possible because I love it so much. This is hands down my favorite concealer from the drugstore and my favorite concealer at the moment in general. So again, this is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in light. So sticking with the face, I have a couple of complexion products I want to talk to you guys about. You guys already know that I have to mention at least one highlighter in every single one of my favorites videos. It's kind of just, I just have to do it. I just have to. So the first highlighter that I want to talk to you guys about is by Gerard Cosmetics. And this is the Star Powder in Maryland. If you guys are following me on Snapchat, which you definitely should be, my name is just the Katie Danger. Everything will be linked down below. Um, this came up a couple times. First, it came up because I was telling you guys how much I love it, and I think it is such a beautiful, beautiful glow on the cheeks. But second, it's because if you don't already know, I'm the most clumsy human being on the planet. And I dropped it and it cracked. I don't know if you guys can see it from there, but it cracked right in this corner. And I'm sad. I'm a sad girl because this is such an amazing highlight. I love it so, so much. This is hands down one of my favorite highlights of all time. This is very close, in my opinion, to like a Stay Lauder Heat Wave, Whisper of Guilt, yada, yada, blah. Very close to that, in my opinion. And I just love it. It's so smooth, so pigmented. If you are like me and you like a highlight, like you like a highlight. This is definitely for you. So this is the Star Powder in Marilyn. And I'm actually not wearing that on my cheeks today because I'm wearing my other highlighter that I'm going to show you guys. And this is by Artist Couture. This is the Diamond Glow Powder in the color Illuminati. Now, okay, let's address it. Let's address it. <laughs> it's called Illuminati. I didn't name it. I mean, what do you want me to do? <laughs> Personally, if it was my business, I wouldn't name it Illuminati. But I have no problem with it being named Illuminati. Like, it could be named, like, Butt Crack, and I'd probably be like, great, let's throw it on my face. So I don't I don't really care about the name at all. And I get, like, what Mac Daddy was trying to get at when he named it Illuminati, you know, because Illumin, you know. So if you guys didn't pick this up, please, if it's still available, I'm not really sure, I haven't checked. But if it's still available, you need to pick it up. This is amazing. I already love pretty much all of the Diamond Glow powders because they're amazing. And they are loose highlighters, so if you don't like loose highlighters, this is not for you, but I don't mind it. So it just comes in a little jar like this. And like I said, it is a loose highlighter. So I personally apply it with a fan brush every time that I apply it. It is, like I said, what I have on my cheeks today. And I love it. I love it so much. I used to love Gold Digger and Conceited the most, but this one took their place completely. It kind of, I don't really know how to explain it. It's not as gold as Gold Digger. And it's not as bronze as conceited. It's kind of like in the middle. And I just I just love it. I think it's the perfect, perfect highlighter. So if you're looking for a new highlighter and you're into a loose one, I would definitely give this one a try. So this is the Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder in Illuminati. <laughs> Last complexion product that I want to talk about is a blush. If you guys saw my collective haul, you know that I bought blush on blush on blush. And before that video, I actually bought more blush. I think I bought like five or six blushes from MAC before that video so it's a lot of blush that I've been buying and I don't know I've just been into buying blush I don't know why so the one that I am wearing on my cheeks today is actually hands down my favorite blush that I have tried from the ones that I have purchased recently and this is by MAC and this is the blush in copper tone and I don't know what took me so long to buy this I told you guys in that video I have been wanting to buy this forever and a half and I just never picked it up and like I'm crazy for not picking it up it's amazing I love it so much it's the literal perfect summer color in my opinion I mean it's honestly the perfect color all year round but it is just stunning I kind of went a little ham with it today a little bit but I mean you don't have to go this hard obviously if you just do like a light dusting over the cheeks it looks so natural and just like you're actually blushing it's kind of like a burnt terracotta color 
that's I guess the best way that I can explain it and I love it so much this is my perfect everyday blush in my opinion it's just amazing so this is copper tone and this is a matte blush the next couple products I want to talk about are for your eyes I have eyebrow products and I have eye products so we'll start with the eyebrows um, I tried a new brow pencil this month and the only reason I tried it was because I filmed a drugstore and makeup tutorial which I'll link down below and for that video I went out and bought a whole bunch of drugstore makeup like anything that I was missing and eyebrow pencil was one of them so I picked up this eyebrow pencil by NYX this is the NYX the NYX NYX the NYX micro brow pencil and mine is in the color black and this is life okay this is life I like this so much better than my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow wiz and I I just I know you guys are like what you mean you have the color black it's okay it doesn't come out like an eyeliner it's it's like a very soft black so I mean it is black I don't think it's I think it's like an like an off black maybe so this is the pencil right here so it definitely is a black I'm not doubting that it isn't a black or I'm not saying that it isn't a black it's definitely black but I feel like it's kind of like an off black and I love this color for my eyebrows I have a uh, blue black hair so I kind of need a darker eyebrow like I can't be walking around with like blonde eyebrows and blue black hair like that's not cute and I mean if you do that you do you but I personally like darker brows on myself and I just feel like this color is perfect I love ashy tones in my brows for everything else I like warm tones but I like ashy tones in my brows and I feel like this just gives the perfect eyebrow along with the other product that I'm going to talk about I'm obsessed with the two so this is the next the next what why can't I say next <laughs> the next micro brow pencil in black so the next product that I have to show you guys is a brow powder like I said I've been using this in conjunction with that NYX brow pencil and this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow brow duo brow powder duo and I have two colors and you guys already if you've seen my videos from like a while ago then you know why I have two I have one of the throwback Thursday packaging this is literally the old like really old packaging this is in the color dark brown this I've been using, even though it's in this like old caca packaging, I've been using this kind of often. And I finally picked up a new one and I picked it up in the color ebony because like I told you guys I like a dark eyebrow. And I used ebony in my eyebrows today and like I said, this along with that NYX powder, um, the NYX pencil, sorry, is just life. It's life. I don't even care about my dip brow anymore at all. I don't really care about my brow whiz. This powder with that NYX pencil, everybody needs this combination in their life if they like pretty pretty intense brows I would say my brows are kind of ombre because I only use the powder at the end of the brow to make it kind of more defined at the end and then in the beginning I kind of just use the pencil and stroke upwards I have a brow tutorial it's gonna be linked in the description box just in case just picture me using the brow powder instead of the brow pomade and the NYX pencil instead of the brow is and that's my eyebrow routine basically so I've been loving those for my eyebrows recently. As for eyeshadow, I have a couple of eyeshadows that I want to talk to you guys about because I have been loving them. That's why. <laughs> so the first eyeshadows I want to talk to you are talk to you about are by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I have two shades that I want to show you guys. This palette is actually composed of all Makeup Geek eyeshadows, but this bottom row here is the Summer Collection by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And the two eyeshadows I want to talk to you guys about are Labyrinth and Peach Sorbet. So these two eyeshadows are fairly new to me. Obviously, I mean, the Summer Collection didn't come out that long ago. But I love them so much. I am wearing Peach Sorbet in my inner corners right now. And that's basically what I love it the most for. It is the most perfect inner corner highlight you could ever imagine. I love that Makeup Forever ME122 Snow for my inner corners. But that's a little bit more on the icy side. Whereas this one is kind of more on the gold side. And I just think this is perfect. Especially since I do more warm tone looks anyways. I think that it's perfect. And the color Labyrinth is just this kind of purplish maroon color and I love this shadow originally when they first came out I was just like I don't need that shadow I'm not gonna use it what am I really gonna do with it I usually don't gravitate towards these eyeshadows and I did mention that in the haul but if you look at the haul video I am wearing the eyeshadow on my lid in that video and I loved that look the look that it came out with that came out with this <laughs> was so amazing I loved it so much and I just can't put it down so this is the eyeshadows by Anastasia Beverly Hills and Labyrinth and Peach Sorbet I believe 
that peach sorbet is a titanium finish and that labyrinth is a metallic finish but don't quote me on that and then of course an eyeshadow palette that I've been loving and like I said this one I'm cheating a little bit with because I kind of got it in the middle of the month but I love this palette I love this palette so much I did film a review on this I don't know if it's gonna go up yet though because the um my voice kind of just wasn't working with the video like the sound wasn't coming out right so i don't know if that video is going to go up or not but i do have a tutorial for sure on this that should be up on my channel already which i will link down below and i love this eyeshadow palette i think it's incredible i think it's going to be a staple for sure in my makeup collection i was going to say my kit but i don't have a kit so my makeup collection <laughs> And I just love the colors. I love the colors so much. In that tutorial, I used this copper shade, which is the color Enigma, I believe. Yes, it's the color Enigma. And these top four that are all matte is perfect. They're perfect. They are literally perfect. I, I will say that I'm not the biggest fan of this brown right here. It's called Winter Brown. I'm not the biggest fan of it, personally. I prefer warmer tone transition shades but I know not everybody does so since there's a warm brown right here this will probably gear towards people who like cooler tones better so I'm not mad at it I'm okay the process of getting this palette not the best uh, I kind of really 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 hated that process a lot and I'm so glad that it's over but I'm so happy that I have it in my hands finally because this palette it was I'm not gonna say it was worth it because like that was real life. But I do really like it. <laughs> and these colors, by the way, are super, super duper pigmented. And this color right here, the color Nova, I believe is the name of it, is very similar to Labyrinth. So, like, you really don't need both. But I just love this entire palette. Everything about it, it's amazing. And, of course, I love the Battle Lash Girls. So, huge shout out to the Battle Lash Palette by Saucebox. Lastly, for the eyes, finally, I want to talk about a pair of lashes that I, oh my god, love absolutely love these are by blinking beauté these are the number five lashes and oh my god i posted about this on my snapchat as well a couple of times and i love them when i originally placed my like first blinking beauté order i only ordered i believe three or four of the lashes and this was not one of them because i feel like they just look they look so furry and like unattractive personally i was like i i don't want that that looks like an animal like a straight animal but then the second time around, I was like, you know, I'm going to give them a try because they're starting to look really cute on other people. And they're looking cute for a reason. They're amazing. They look like little furry animals, but they're so amazing. I'm going to zoom you guys in so you can see the lashes. See how they're like, they're literally like little furry raccoons or something. <laughs> I don't know why, but that just looks like a skunk or like a raccoon or something. But I love them so much. I had to fight myself not to put them on my eyes today because I had to show you guys, so... Feel the love, feel it. On my eyes today, I'm wearing Iconics, by the way, by House of Lashes. Big surprise, big surprise. So, we've got one more product to go for my loves, and it's a lipstick. I usually don't really show that many lip products. I don't feel like in my favorites video. I feel like usually when I see other people's favorites videos, they have, like, miles long of lip products, and I'm like, what? I, I feel like I probably have, like, one or two products every month. And this month, it is another liquid lipstick. It's always pretty much a liquid lipstick. I mean, I'm obsessed with them. I'm wearing one on my lips right now. This is Vintage by Anastasia Beverly Hills, which is always linked down below, by the way. Whatever I'm wearing is always linked down below. And the one I want to talk about today is not this one. It's by Colored Rain, and this is the liquid lipstick in the color Mars. If you guys didn't know, I did post a Colored Rain liquid... Liquid? <laughs> I just make up words for fun. That's my other hobby besides makeup, guys, in case you didn't know. I posted a liquid lipstick swatch video on all the Color Rain liquid lipsticks, which I'll also link down below. Everything that I talk about will be linked down below as well. And this was the first color that I put on my lips, and that video was actually the first time that I had put this on, and I died. I posted on Snapchat again. <laughs> I post it on Snapchat. I post everything on Snapchat, honestly. Snapchat is another one of my favorites. Like, I just, I'm obsessed with Snapchat. My name, again, is the Katie Danger. I'm obsessed, obsessed with it. I post every, everything on Snapchat. So, if you guys are not following me on Snapchat already, you definitely should be. I kind of was a little bit iffy about Snapchat in the beginning. I was like, oh, I'm not gonna make a Snapchat. That's just what but then I kept seeing everybody post about it, and they're like, if you're following me on Snapchat, if you're following me on Snapchat, I know how you guys feel because I felt that. And I just caved, and I love it. I love it. I'll never go back. So, back to the original topic. <laughs> 
So this color I put on for the first time in that video and I did not want to take it off. I was amazed. So I am going to swatch it on my hand for you guys because like I said, I do swatch it in my lips, on my lips in that video. So if you guys want to see a lip swatch, just go to that video. And this is it right here. It is so stunning. It kind of is that 90s lip color that everybody is so into right now. This is it right here. It is definitely that 90s lip color that everyone is so, so into right now. But I just love it. I feel like there's not a lot of those 90s lip colors that darker skin girls can wear. But this is definitely one of them. I love it to death. Not to death, but I love it. <laughs> so again, this is the Color Rain Matte Liquid Lipstick in Mars. So that was it for my favorites this month. That was it. Like, it was a little bit. I mean... So now I'm talking about the products that I didn't like this month. Both of them are actually by NYX and I purchased both of them to use in my drugstore makeup tutorial which I'll link down below just in case you guys haven't seen that yet. But I just can't stand these products. So the first one I want to talk about is the NYX HD Finishing Powder in the color Banana and this is the pressed version. I just found out today that there is a loose version so I'm assuming that's the one that everybody really likes. But this one is not good. The reason that I don't like this one, I actually first liked it, like when I first got it, I was like, wow, this powder is amazing because it actually does prevent your under eyes from creasing really well. And the Anastasia Beverly Hills Banana Powder does not do that for me personally. Neither does the Kat Von D shade and light, the yellow shade, or any of the shades really. So it's really hard for me to use a pressed powder underneath my eyes. I pretty much always have to go with a loose version. And this actually did help with the creasing. I didn't have any creasing at all. But when I started continuously using it, I started to notice that it kind of emphasizes my pores right in this area because I do have pretty intense pores like I told you guys before. This emphasized them for days, for days. Like they were popping out to the point where I was like, I need to cover this. I need to take off my makeup. I need to do something because I look horrific. So I do not like this powder for that reason. I will never ever use it again. Never, ever, ever, never, ever. The next thing I want to talk about again by NYX is this NYX Avant Pop Palette. This is an eyeshadow palette. I purchased this at Ulta and I hate it. I purchased it for that drugstore makeup tutorial like I said and I cannot stand this palette. Like why are you here? This palette has no pigmentation whatsoever. Like these colors they are not pigmented. If you watch my drugstore makeup tutorial you can see that you, you can't see the eyeshadows on my eyes. And when I use this black shade and I mean a black shade for me is essential. So when I use this black shade and it did nothing for my outer V, you can just imagine my disappointment when I'm somebody who is obsessed with having a super, super defined outer V. So I just don't think this is worth it at all. I hate the packaging. I hate the color selection. I hate the pigmentation. I hate everything about this palette. So I actually ended up giving this to my mom because my mom is not really into makeup. She has like two palettes that I gave her, both of them. <laughs> and... Like, she's fine with this because she will use, like, one color all over the lid. One color, like, if it will really show up. And she'll be fine. So, she likes this palette. But again, my mom doesn't really know much of anything about makeup. So, <sighs> it grinds my gears. So, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Please don't forget to subscribe as well. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. All that information will be linked down below. As well as everything that's on my face and everything that I mentioned today. Also, don't forget to leave me your favorites down in the comments because... I almost said description bar. Um, down in the comments because... Last month, you guys left me a whole bunch of things in the comments in my favorites video, and I loved it. There was one girl who told me that she actually really liked the uh, Marc Jacobs, was it the light filtering powder? Something like that. And I had actually been looking at that forever. So when she told me I loved it, well, she told me she loved it. I was like, I'm going to have to go get it now. Thank you. So I really love hearing what you guys have been loving for the month. So please leave me your favorites down in the comments below. That's all I have to say. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. You guys know I had lipstick on my teeth this whole entire time. Why did you tell me? So the one that I'm wearing my <laughs> <laughs> Fuck.